Pleurisy can be caused by any of a number of things. If it's uh, serious stuff, uh, could be infection. Uh, if you want to go by the odds, uh, uh, pneumonia. It's right next to the lining of the lung, and uh, there can be irritation that way. Uh, another very serious thing would be a blood clot to the lung, and, that, and that's why uh, many patients uh, uh, have a sense of urgency when they have this severe, sharp pain, beginning suddenly, something they didn't have before. They're going to go to the emergency room. Doctor should, is going to be thinking about a uh, uh, blood clot to the lung. Uh, the ribs are right next, next door. If you had a minor trauma, you could pop a rib, and that could feel like pleurisy. Uh, if you have a gallbladder attack, uh, you can go up to the, the side of uh, the chest wall. That can feel like pleurisy. If you had a compression fracture of your spine, upper thoracic spine, and it irritates the nerve, it can send pain around the chest wall and have a pleuritic quality in terms of aggravation with movement or, or respiration. And then it can be any of a number of things, uh, uh, autoimmune problems like uh, lupus or, or inflammation of the lung related to uh, even rheumatoid arthritis. If you're normally healthy and you wake up with a severe pain in your chest and you can't breathe, uh, you know, I think I'm not going to call my, uh, my uh, second cousin. I think I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna go to the emergency room or at least contact my doctor. But in the pro you know, it, it also depends on what you know your general medical condition is. If, if it's complicated, if you have heart disease uh, and you have hypertension, it's in the chest wall, it's going to get your attention. And, and uh, um, I think another clue would be if, you, if, there's, a, if there's a postural element to it. So if you can't lie on your, if it's on the right side, you can't lie on your right or left side, or you can't uh, remain recumbent in sleep, I think there may be something more going on. Uh, I always say if, if there's a fever, uh, it kind of lets you know that something not, uh, isn't right.